Joe Biden, as of the recording of this, he announced today, announced today as this is being recorded, Joe Biden, he announced, Joe Biden, Joe Biden, the guy who is not for single-payer health care, he is not for a Green New Deal, he thinks millennials just need to shut up, he's against living wages, he was down with the crimes bill, had no problem with that, had no problem participating in the drug war over the years, had no problem with the Patriot Act, supported all of those things. Oh, and he wants to cut Social Security and Medicare, or excuse me, Medicaid. That's Joe Biden. The only thing uh, separating Joe Biden from a Republican is the D next to his name that's inexplicably there. That's Joe Biden. Oh, and you know what else? Joe Biden can't even get net neutrality right. And we're going to look at an article that kind of explains why there. Joe Biden. Joe Biden has uh, the policy ideas and likability of Jeb Bush and the creepiness of Anthony Weiner. And he's running for president, and chances are he's who the establishment is going to shove down our throats. And then he's going to go on to lose to Trump. Joe Biden. But let's take a look. Here's something else particular about Joe Biden. So the headline of this article, Joe Biden's 2020 campaign won't take lobbyist money. Then the subheading, but a day one fundraiser with a Comcast executive shows the limits of his pledge. This headline's bullshit. I'll start out by saying that. This headline is bullshit. Because a lot of people see this headline and then they go, oh, see, he's not so bad. And maybe this isn't the author's fault because this is actually a pretty good article. Maybe using this headline was the only way Huffington Post would publish this article. I don't know. But either way, this headline is bullshit because it goes on to say how corrupt Joe Biden is. Former Vice President Joe Biden's 2020 campaign won't accept donations from federal lobbyists, but a fundraiser scheduled for the first day of his campaign also shows the limitations of such a pledge. Biden is set to attend a fundraiser Thursday night at the Philadelphia home of Comcast executive David Cohen. While Cohen is not a registered lobbyist, uh, he does oversee the cable giant's massive Washington lobbying operation, which spent more than $4 million and involved more than three dozen lobbying firms in the first quarter of 2019 alone. So he's just a lobbyist via two degrees. He's two degrees separated from a lobbyist, and that's essentially what he does. And he's a Comcast executive. And who's his big fundraiser? Joe Biden. Who doesn't even get net neutrality right? Joe Biden. What organization is against net neutrality? Comcast, because they don't want it to be around so they can screw over consumers harder and make more money and price gouge even further. What else does Comcast own? MSNBC. Where can you never get an honest report about net neutrality? MSNBC. Where can you find road scholars going on the air pretending they don't understand what net neutrality is? MSNBC. Joe Biden doesn't even support net neutrality. And this is why. All right, so there's their statement on it. But here's the thing. Biden for president. Please join Rhonda and David L. Cohen. Ed Rendell's going to be there. Bob Casey, who, by the way, Bob Casey was actually doing some, some good things in regards to the net neutrality bills. I wonder if that's going to change because he's showing up to this stuff. Biden's decision not to take... Uh, not to take federal lobbyist cash, leaves South Bend, Indiana Mayor Pete Buttigieg as the only candidate in the top tier of the Democratic field taking donations from K Street. But Biden's day one fundraiser highlights how corporations can still find ways to influence politicians, even those with safeguards in place. Cohen, a former top aide to then Philadelphia Mayor Ed Rendell, is a major political player in Pennsylvania and Washington, and Comcast's lobbying operation is considered among the nation's most powerful. Joe Biden. That's where his first fundraiser is going to be. With Comcast executives. Joe Biden. The guy who loves throwing people in prison, loves the drug war, Thinks millennials just need to shut up, is against living wages, is against cracking down on the banks, is for cutting Social Security and Medicaid, is against net neutrality, supported the Patriot Act, supported the drugs, but yeah, I mean, 
again, in any other, in any other uh, democratic experiment, Joe Biden would be considered a fringe right wing candidate. And he's officially in the race. And he is the establishment's pick. So they're going to try to shove him down, down our throats. I mean, unless, unless Kamala picks up some steam or unless uh, one of the other uh, establishment candidates picks up some steam, it's going to be Biden. So there you go. Official. Biden 2020. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Get your news on with Ron. Don't you wanna know what's going on? We're getting our news on today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tweet me an article at Ron Placone. We'll go through it together and make it our.